um, and shifting the shifting gears yeah. towards CC Little. Um, so there's an advisory committee on this renaming. Um, what progress has been made in that committee? Um, and what are the main considerations? And what's the timeline look like? Yeah. So, um, as you know, because you published this, uh, there has been a very formal request, very well documented, made by a group of students with some faculty help, or maybe for my faculty colleagues, I should say some faculty with some student help, uh, making a request that we consider removing the name. And C.C. Little, of course, is a former president of the university, um, and it's a big deal. Uh, over a year ago, or a year ago, um, uh, we had a committee that ex has existed for a while called the President's Advisory Committee on University History um, go through a discussion to advise us about what are the criteria we should use when these kind of questions come up. Um, so this committee spent a number of months saying what are the criteria we should use to judge these cases? Yeah, how do we even think about a request to change a name? Uh, they came up with a bunch of recommended principles. Those are posted up on my website uh, for the whole community to see. Um, and they're a very valuable guide for how we deal with the kind of proposal that was raised with CC Little. So what I did when I got the uh, request on the Little naming is first look at the overall request to make sure it seems serious to me and detailed enough to really... Um, uh, forward to the committee, and I thought it was, and the committee agreed. And the committee has been working on this request now for a few months. And what they've been trying to do is apply their criteria to this particular question. And for example, one of the more interesting and challenging criteria is you can imagine there are many ideas that in today's context seem ridiculous, that they're so out of step with our uh, current values and the current social norms in our society that they make no sense. However, when you're thinking about a naming, you have to actually go back in time to when the naming happened. And then figure out in the context of those times, how do you judge that person? Were they typical of their era? Or were they a terrible outlier that regardless of what the era was, you, know, you wouldn't want to associate yourself with their values? And that's a very hard thing to do. So when we think about something as permanent as removing a name that was supposed to be permanent, uh, we've got to look at it from many different perspectives. So this group is in the midst of coming up with their recommendation and writing a report. The report will come to me along with a recommendation. Uh, I'll read it and think about it very hard. If the recommendation calls for um, a removal of the name, and if I agree with that recommendation, then ultimately we have to take it to the Board of Regents because they're the ones that have the authority to add the name. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones that have the authority to take away the name. Uh, this case may require more discussion than just a report from a history committee. So we might convene some open community discussion so we can hear more directly from people because there's not unanimity of opinion about this, even though you know there are many students that feel very strongly about this. There are some others that feel pretty strongly that naming should be permanent. Mm -hmm. And I want to, before we make a serious decision like this, or before I recommend to the regents they make a serious decision like this, that we've given it uh, all the appropriate thought. Has the committee given you any like specific time frames of when they might be? No, know? but they, they tell me they're working on their report now. So they, they've done their thinking and reading and researching and consulting, and now they're at the stage of working on their report. Do you have any personal opinion that you... You know, it's really interesting. I try not to have a personal opinion until I feel like I've understood something well enough that it's a worthwhile opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So as a gut instinct, you know, when I read the arguments made by the group of students and faculty that brought it forward, I'd say there's something really serious we should be thinking about. Um, but um, this isn't the decision that you have to make today. In other words, it isn't a time-sensitive decision that if we don't decide this this week, the world's going to suffer. We should be thoughtful about this. So I make a commitment to myself to try to keep an open mind until I've read through and thought about and then discussed with smart people um, uh, all the information that's available. So I don't, I don't have an opinion other than the fact that it's something that definitely merits consideration. Mm -hmm.